Today we're going to drive this 2019 Ferrari 488 Pista and we're going to answer all those Q&A questions while we do it. Hey guys, so right now I'm sitting in the 2019 Ferrari 488 Pista. I cannot thank the owner of this car, a local car enthusiast, enough for this opportunity. I am so grateful. This car is beautiful. It is unique. It's fast. It's one of the fast, I think it is the fastest production V8 uh, Ferrari ever produced. Street legal. <laughs> I mean, it's basically a race car in here. You know, I drive race cars for a living. This car is a race car. It's got, you know, pleated metal floors. It's, it's ridiculous how intense this car is. You feel everything. The steering is so, you know, spot on. It's super tight. I love it. And I cannot wait to get on the road today. Um, today we're going to answer some questions. I think we picked about 10, 10 or so of the questions that everybody asked. And I cannot thank everybody enough for, at, you know, even asking questions. I didn't think we were going to get this many responses. I am super grateful for that. If you have any more questions, Always drop a comment below and I will answer them immediately. I love your guys' you know, feedback, I love your guys' questions. And if I can make myself better through you guys, tell me. I love it. As always guys, drop a like or a comment below and uh, hope you like today's video. Alright guys, uh, let's get going today. Question number one is from Not M Ritter. What has been my favorite experience from racing in the Indy series? There's so many great experiences I've had in the road to Indy, to be honest. I really, really enjoy it. But I think my favorite experience was the first time hopping in an Indy Pro 2000 car. Not the USF 2000 car, but the Indy Pro car. Because by then I had a ton of experience and I could actually, you know, I actually knew what I was doing. It was great getting up, up to speed really, really quickly and, you know, competing with, with guys that have been doing this for like four plus years. So I think. Homestead Miami, the series opener test, by far was my favorite time ever in the car. I loved it so much. Um, I was shaking when I got out of the car because I was so happy and ecstatic to be able to have the opportunity to be able to drive an 80 Pro 2000 car, so I believe that one. Question number two is from Jay Valorama 8 What's the most important thing about braking on my car? So the most important thing, at least that's what, what, what my coach tells me and what my team tells me, um, is when you're up to speed and you're going into the corner, you have to really get a hard, hard brake spike. The maximum amount of pressure you can give the car, not to lock up obviously, but you'll find lock up when you're, when you're testing out with the, with the brake bias. But you wanna get that high initial peak and then you wanna trail off gradually. And you don't go high and then off completely and then high again and then off completely because what you're doing is you're transferring all the weight around. When you brake, you transfer the weight to the nose. When you turn right, you transfer the weight to the left. When you turn left, you transfer the weight to the right. So you gotta be really careful with the weight transfer because you know we're racing cars and we don't have a ton and ton of downforce. So when you're transferring the weight, that much weight at that much speed, it's really easy to lose the car. So you wanna be extremely, extremely gentle with the, with the brake release. So it's a high initial peak, maximum amount of downforce because that's the fastest, the fastest you're going in the car and then you trail off slowly. Next question is from Peter Montoya. Uh, when am I going karting again? And he wants to go karting with me. I love karting with everybody. You know, as you know, I'm new to this. So, you know, karting for me is a great experience for the, for the Indy Pro 2000 car. You know, a lot of Formula One drivers do shifted carts. A lot of all the Indy Pro 2000, all the Indy car drivers are all came from, came from carts and still do carts to train. So I'm hoping to be in the cart in December and if you're down in Miami, because that's that's the main place that I that I cart down with my coach, because he lives down there um, for the Florida Winter Tour and all that. Uh, so come down to Miami December and let's go karting in Homestead. I, the more the merrier. Uh, I used to cart at Orlando, um, 
I used to card at Opalaka and unfortunately that closed due to, due to the pandemic, which is really sad because that, that was a great track. Um, and it was way closer, we didn't have to drive an hour every day, but, uh, but still, I'm hoping to car in December and I'm really, really excited to get a ton more experience and the more the merrier. Um, you know, if anybody wants to reach out and say, hey, you know, let's go karting these dates in December, you know, hit me up, I'm always down. Any pre-racing rituals from Petrix? Hmm. So I'm not really a superstitious person. I used to be when I used to race, <laughs> but uh, my coach Juan kind of beat that out of me. <laughs> but uh, I kind of just do a normal routine, a, a normal stretching routine on my yoga mat. If you ever come into my garage, you'll see my yoga mat. It's a, it's a Han Solo yoga mat. <laughs> it's very interesting. Um, but I usually do a little bit of stretching on there. I have like a whole routine that I learned from a chiropractor in Miami. And I have a breath work technique that I learned uh, from, I like, I, I like studying pranayama and you know, like a lot of yoga stuff and breathing and breath work. So I do a lot of breath work, you know, with my nose, I do this and that. Um, won't get into detail of that, but that's what I do before I get in the car. Uh, that's kind of like my pre-race uh, ritual, to be honest. And then uh, I get in the car. I don't really care what side of the car I get into. I don't think about superstitious stuff like that. I used to be so superstitious. I put a white sock on my left foot and a right so uh, and a black sock on my right foot, it, and it was crazy. Or it was the other way around. I don't really remember. But uh, that's how superstitious I used to be. And I used to get in from the left side of the car only. But uh, no, not anymore. Not not since I got into the it Pro 2000 car. But uh, yeah, that's my prey race routine. Next question is from Diana. Um, what's the scariest racing experience I've ever had? Uh, I don't even think twice about that one. It is when I broke my back in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, I think it was 2018, March 2018. And that was a very, very unfortunate experience. I thought my racing career was over. Um, I thought that I was not going to be able to heal back from that. It was a very low point in my life. But uh, yeah, definitely that was the scariest <laughs> when I went over the back of somebody in St. Petersburg. I believe it was on the last corner. And when, the, when I came back down after I lifted over the car and slapped the ground and my back just didn't want to have it. So yeah, I, my, uh, my thoracic spine was not too happy about that one. <laughs> so yeah, definitely the scariest experience was crashing and breaking my back. Next question is from David Redman. When am I coming back to Miami? And he wants to drive carts. I, like I said, I think hopefully December. Um, and if not December, probably January. Uh, somewhere around there during the off season because everything kind of got jumbled up with with coronavirus it's it's you know sad but uh, you know everybody's trying to get their schedule together and you know I'm trying to do the same right now but I hope December and you know I love I love seeing you David so let's uh let's link up down in Miami and, and get some carding in. Asher Racing Channel over the next question asked me what's my pre-racing routine and what gets me in the zone. What gets me in the zone is when I'm in the car and we're on pre-grid, you know, when they're doing all the, like, hey, people start your engines, you know, uh, blah, 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 and they're, they're going through the drivers on the on the television. Um, I'm going through my mind and I'm, I, I usually do this with my fingers and I do like a little bit of a game. You know, I try to complicate it, but I try doing it the exact opposite on each hand. Um, and I go through my mind while I'm doing that and I thank everybody that has supported me in getting to, to this opportunity. And I tell each one of those people that I, I love them and I can't thank them enough for helping me get to this opportunity to, to be able to race today. The reason I thank these people and tell them I love them is because my career is not a, obviously I'm driving, but it's not a one team, a one man job. You know, I have a whole team behind me. I have a, I have a media manager that, that, you know, it's like a life coach for me. I have a, a great trainer. I have a, my father who supports me to the ends of the earth and I love him so much for that. And, you know, I have the whole team behind me. So I thank every single person because I wouldn't be here without them. You know, I can be as fast as I want to be, but if I don't have a team behind me, I'm not going to have longevity. And my goal in this sport is to have longevity and to spread love. So that's exactly why I do it. Kat Nicole, will I be racing St. Pete? I will be racing St. Pete. <laughs> I'm very excited about that because I want to go back and I want to make um, I want to make myself proud and I want to make everybody that has supported me proud because that's where I broke my back. I want to have like a, a redemption moment for myself and all the naysayers that say, hey, you know, you shouldn't be racing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be moving up to the next class. You're not ready. Well, you don't know all the time that I put in. You don't know all the 
the, the hours and hours I put on the simulator, all the time I put on watching video, all the time that I do, all the strength training I do, just to get ready to go back to St. Petersburg, go back and get into, into this Indy Pro 2000 car because it's the next level up. You know, I've, I've had people in the paddock come up to me like, why did you do that? I mean, you don't know, you don't know the, 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 the everything that I went through because I wanted to get back in the car so bad. So I want to have a redemption moment in the, in the Indy Pro 2000 car at St. Petersburg. So I'll be there, look out for me and my teammates, Artem Petrov and Stingray Rob in the Hoon Coast cars. Cat Nicole asked again, do you have a favorite workout that I do? I love to box, but you know, I'll enjoy all my workouts. When I'm not training, my main job is to stay fit and to stay active and keep my mind sharp. So I'm always in the gym or I'm always boxing or I'm always on the road cycling or always on the road running. You know, New Mexico is gorgeous as you can tell right now. I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful state. And here in Albuquerque, we have a lot of trails, we have a huge biking community, huge running community. So when you go on the trail, you're never alone. <laughs> There's always somebody else out there. So I really enjoy every aspect of training. So I don't, I, I don't think I have a favorite, but if I had to pick one, I think it would be boxing. I think of it as a meditative state. I, I train here out of uh, uh, the trail Yi. Uh, Coach Ray, Ray Yi, one of the owners, is a fantastic guy. He trains a I don't, I don't know how many, but he trains quite a few of the top UFC fighters and almost all the top UFC fighters have at least trained here or do train here currently because of the high, alto, high altitude. So I think boxing is definitely one and I would love to learn a little bit more about uh, grappling, which hopefully uh, I'm actually going later today to do that. So um, yeah, boxing is my favorite, I think.